This video will show you how to install and use the ZDL Launcher for Doom. The description of this video will contain links to all the things you'll need to do what's shown here. If you Google search ZDL Doom, a wiki page for the launcher will come up as one of the first results. That wiki contains download links. This ZDL launcher is a small file, and it won't take long to download. You'll need to unpack the file into a file folder somewhere. It doesn't necessarily have to be within your Doom directory. The ZDL launcher doesn't come with the source and WAD files already set up for you. That's something you're going to have to do yourself. But the good news is, it's easy to do. Just go to the Settings tab and click the Add button for each type of file that you need to add. When you're done, you can hit the Launch button at the bottom of the software, and you'll be taken to the game. If you've chosen to load a custom map, once you start a new game, it'll load that map. As you may have noticed, one of the files I selected while setting up just now was the map file for a map called After the Holocaust which is a popular level for the Brutal Doom mod. Really that's all there is to the process. It takes a few steps to get going, but in the long run, the ZDL launcher makes your life a little simpler when running various mods and custom maps. No longer will you need to open up your file directory to drag and drop custom files. If you create a desktop shortcut for ZDL, then you'll be able to jump into the game much more quickly once the initial setup is done. I hope the video helped. Thanks for watching.